Today it's very hot and I would like to have a little cooling. And inside, yeah, it goes up and down. Usually you just need to keep the steering wheel straight. It feels so weird. I feel like, like literally falling out the car. Guys, almost 100%. No way, we are. <laughs> now I know why we have this in the G-Class. I'm like holding myself here. It's so easy. Hello guys, I am back. Welcoming you all with this today. I am in Graz at the G-Class Experience Center. Guys, this place is heaven on earth for every single G-Class fanboy. Because in today's video, I will be doing a full drive with the G-Wagon, driving it through the woods here, some nice off-roading places. And afterwards, we will be taking it on the steel circle. Guys, stay tuned for that. It's super, super interesting. Before we start, let me talk about this car here in specific. Here we have the G400 diesel. Looking at the exterior paint, we have China Blue G manufactured G-Wagon. Looks super, super nice in my opinion. And this thing is ready to hit the woods and some nice off-roading situations. So let's get right into it and start the drive. So let's jump inside, guys. And here we have our driver and instructor of today here we have Sven hello Sven what are you going to show us today today I'm really excited because I'm going to show you the hidden secrets of the G-Class Experience Center in the woods and some other places and I'm really excited because I'm going to show you what is possible especially off the roads and this is really exciting stay tuned let's go so there we go, driving off inside the G-Wagon. Here on our right hand, we have the side slope where we have an inclination up to 30 degrees, which means we still have five degrees left as a reserve. On the left hand behind the woods, we have the axle twist. This is really exciting because there you get to know how the system works, the differential locks and the benefit of having three of them. Now we turn to the left and see, because today it's very hot, and I would like to have a little cooling, so we will have a look if we find some water where we can dive into it, the car and me. Wait, no way, are we really going to do this? Of course, of course. Shouldn't I do it? No, do it, do it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Here, driving in the water is really critical. Usually you should avoid, but um, if you know how to drive, you can be safe and this is really really cool all the beep is the uh, indicator of um, the water depth because if you are driving through deep water uh, the air which gets soaked in there's some shutdown mm -hmm. in order to keep the engine alive oh, okay we have implemented some technical features uh, which really helps you to avoid serious damages So this was super fun. What, what next? Okay, the next is the so-called axle twist. And here you see different holes. And it's even more spectacular from outside, but maybe we can begin with the inside. There we need at least two differential locks because we always have one wheel of each axle without any grip. And inside, yeah, it goes up and down. Usually you just need to keep the steering wheel straight. <laughs> and here we have some funny thing. You can make a selfie from inside, seeing outside. <laughs> and of course, it's very impressive, the axle twist, um, how much room you have for the axle to work. So that is a big advantage if you go into really rough off-road terrain. Crazy. I, I have to show it from the outside, guys. Look yeah. at this. That was pretty impressive, but what is the G-Class also capable of, Sven, please? 
So here the next um, exciting thing is, uh, especially for your feelings, is the side inclination. And here we have an official number up to 35 degrees. And we are pretty close to that right now, 33. It depends uh, on the track. And as I can feel, 34 is right now the limit. 35, I just got it for a second. Um, because if it's slippery, yeah, the car doesn't really want to go up uh, the hill. And now we go the opposite side because it's a different feeling whether you sit on the top or no on the way. Top side. <laughs> it's really a different Guys, feeling. Guys, it, it feels so weird. I feel like like literally falling out the car. It's so Yeah, but cool. that's that's only 30 degrees, so there's plenty of room left. <laughs> is, is there? <laughs> yes, look, 30 degrees. And now we do the other side where you feel more comfortable, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's dry, it's no problem. Once it's rainy and slippery, it's a little more dangerous or the limit is faster. Mm. Yeah. That was an amazing ride, Sven. Are we finished? Uh, no. Wait, what? Uh, hang on a second. Just give me a little detour. Yeah. I have some, yeah, nice surprise. Maybe you will like it. So, usually if you really drive in the wilderness, mm -hmm. it's always good to have a co-driver like you. Yeah. Because if we are approaching things like that where you have no right. idea what is in there, Please it's muddy, not. dirty, you never know if there are crocodiles. Yeah. But for the car, the challenge is how deep is it? And therefore, usually the co-driver is walking through and then I see the water depth. Ah, okay. <laughs> if not, it's a high risk to go in there. But okay, so as I say, no risk, no fun. Let's do it, okay? So I should jump in? <laughs> no, we just try. Okay, let's just get right in. Yeah. Okay. okay, ready, steady, go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. And it smells. Yeah. It really not smells. Really yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Guys, now after the off road session in the woods, it's time for the iron shuckle. Here we have, like over there, the metal ramp 80%. And on this one, we have 100% which is around 45 degrees guys it's the max you can go with a production car on a ramp like this guys we need to experience this so let's get right inside our car and start our drive on the iron shuckle it's time for the iron shuckle Sven are you ready G class is always ready let's go I see you can also see the degrees Just look at this okay 20 degrees. Now we go. Oof. No way. Guys, almost 100%. Oh my God, it literally feels like <laughs> falling. <laughs> this is like the extreme. This is just 70% downhill, mm -hmm. just like nothing. And oh, I have another <laughs> surprise for you. Um, do you know the song Stairway to Heaven? Um, yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> you scare me. No go. way. No way. We <laughs> And then back down again. Of course. <laughs> okay, but yeah, let's do it from the other side. Therefore, I just turn here. It's a little, yeah, something different, not that exciting. Because I want to show you something on the way back on yeah. our 100% inclination. Okay, so 81, 80%, 83 or so, oof. Okay, and as soon as we drive back, guys, now I know why we have this in the G-Class. I need the camera because there's, it's not straight. <laughs> now I'm like holding myself here. The grab handle, that's exactly the reason why we have it. Yeah, you, you definitely everything. need it for off-roading purposes. Look, Fasan, it's our neighbor. 
Yeah, that's uh, really driving at the limit. There is physically a limit, so no G class can overcome physical limits, mm. unfortunately. Unfortunately. So that's it basically for today's video. I need to see Sven, guys. Wait, Sven, what are you doing? Man, you are a legend. What, a what are you doing? <laughs> I just want to demonstrate how easy it is to change a tire. For example, if you're driving in the desert mm -hmm. and you have a flat tire, uh, if you try to lift it the normal way, no chance. But if you dig a hole at the opposite of the flat tire, it's just the perfect height to work it easy without having any back trouble. Ah, okay, awesome. Thank you very much for the drive, Sven. You're so welcome, it's you, my pleasure. You're a legend, man. Guys, comment down below. Is Sven legend. is a legend. See you next time, See man. You.